Welcome to another No Nonsense Airbnb video. In September 2023, Airbnb has removed all the pricing and availability settings from this tab to the calendar. I don't know the rationale behind this. It is only going to confuse people. Everything was so nice and tidy in this section, but for some unknown reason, Airbnb has decided to move it to the calendar. So I thought of doing this video to explain how the new settings will work. You will need to go to the calendar if you want to change anything about your prices, discounts, availability and everything. So let's go to the calendar. And once you are on your calendar, the first thing you need to be careful of is not to click on any dates. Because when you click on the date, the option on the right hand side changes and on these options you can simply block or unblock the date so if you want to block this date for example you can just click on this block night option and that will block the calendar for you for the for that date and if you want to open it again you can click on open night and that will open it again and if you want to change the price for that date or any date you have selected you can choose multiple dates you can simply click on price here and that will let you alter the price for that date so you can simply type in the new price and click on save under here it is showing you analytical data of how much the other listings in the area are costing you can simply click on that and that gives another pop-up which shows how the other listings are priced compared to yours there is one more option on this page which is booked listing so at the moment by default it is showing what are the prices for those listings which have been booked and you can click on unbooked listings as well and that will show you the prices for the listings which are still available that might help you make some decisions but let's just go back to the same screen again once you have updated the prices just click on save and that will take you to the previous menu now in this section another option is create a rule set and when you click on that another menu pops up and here you can do lots of discount related stuff for example if you want to increase or decrease the prices by a specific percentage you can simply type that in if you want to offer a long stay discount you can do that you can just choose the duration and mention the percentage you want to offer same way you can do for last minute discounts and for early bird discounts and if you want to apply a custom minimum stay or maximum stay just for the selected nights you can type that all in here. And the last option here is check-in and check-out days. If you have a specific requirement for the guest to check in on certain days, and if you want the guest to check out on certain days, you can simply choose this option. Just remember the options you choose here will apply only to the selected dates. Let's go out of this menu. Now, as I said, if you choose any dates, this is this different menu if you want to go back to the pricing and availability settings of your entire listing and not just these specific dates you will need to close this from here and that will take you to your global pricing and availability settings for your listing the first option here is the base price which is the base price for your listing if you want to have custom weekend price you can simply click on add and then you can mention whatever is your custom weekend price if you want to turn smart pricing on you can just flick this button and that will turn it on straight away and as you scroll down if you're offering any weekly or monthly discount you can mention that here just by clicking on that it opens another menu where you can change that let's go back scrolling further down you can click on more discounts you can add trip length related discounts and all those the discounting options are the same just that on this menu whenever you apply any discount it will be applied blanketly to all the open dates on your calendar scrolling further down this is where you can turn on or off the new listing promotion which is 20 percent off you can simply click on it add it and then remove the promotion or if you have removed it already you can simply add it again and the last option on this menu is the cleaning fee this is where you can change the cleaning fee for your property or if you want to add a pet fee extra guest fee management fee everything you want to change you can simply change on this option remember anything you do without selecting any dates 
will be applied to all the open dates on your calendar. Let's go back. So these are all the settings for pricing. And then the second tab is for availability. This is where you can set minimum nights and maximum night stays for your property. And if you have any custom trip lengths you want to specify, you can do that. The next option is the availability option where you can mention whether you want to receive the bookings the same day or at least one day in advance, two days in advance and things like that. The next option is same day advance notice. That means up until what time in a day you want to receive the booking for the same day. You can simply choose an hour and if that hour crosses and your listing is still available, it will become unbookable on the website. The next option is the preparation time. If you want certain nights blocked between the bookings, you can simply choose one night, two nights here and with that Airbnb will automatically block the following one or two days once you receive a booking to give you some time to prepare. And the next option is availability window. If you want to open your calendar for certain months, they give you these pre-specified three months, six months, nine months, 12 months, and 34 months. You can simply choose that. Or if you are hosting only for specific days, you can just simply click on dates unavailable by default. That will block all the dates in your calendar and you will need to go into those specific dates which you want to host for and open them specifically. The next option is more availability settings. This is where you can have your restricted check-in and check-out days. And let's go back. And the last option here is calendar sync. If you're syncing your calendar with another website or some other application, you can simply click on import here, calendar import, paste their URL, give a reference name and save it. That will sync your calendar with another website. And if you want to export Airbnb calendar, which you can import into another application, you can simply click on Airbnb calendar export and on this menu you can just simply copy the url for your calendar this will enable you to import it into the target application so these are all the settings airbnb has decided to move from that tab into the calendar i can see it will cause a lot of confusion people will scramble to find this information where it is hidden and to top it up, they have complicated it so much. As soon as you click on certain dates, the menu changes, which I can foresee is going to cause a lot of confusion. And I hope this video gives you enough visibility how to operate this new pricing and availability page. I hope you find this video useful. Please do like and subscribe to my channel. That will encourage me to make more such videos. And if you want me to make a video about something which is troubling you, please do leave me a comment in the description below and I will try and make a video to help you with that. If you're new to Airbnb hosting and looking for some guidance, I will leave a link to my Airbnb Superhost Ambassador profile. Just click on that link and with that you will be connected with me on Airbnb and I will be able to help you with any questions or queries you may have about your listing. Until next time, bye-bye.